Hello, and welcome to today's lesson. Today, our focus is mystery words. Materials. The only materials that you will need for today's lesson is your thinking cap. We have two learning targets for today's lesson. The first learning target says, I can follow along in a shared text. The second learning target says, I can find the mystery words you, said, and were in a text. Read aloud. Here's a new poem for us to read called, If We Said. See if you can follow along as I read. What if I said you were going to win, but the prize can fit on the head of a pen? What if you said we were going to play, but we had to wait for a rainy day? What if I said we were going to eat, but the top of the table will be our seat? What if you said you were going to go? Then I would be sad to hear you say so. Transition song. Let's solve the mystery. Let's solve the mystery. Clue by clue. Clue by clue. The clues will tell you what to do. To make the word become clear to you, we'll know the word. We'll figure it out clue by clue, clue by clue. Word work. Remember that high frequency words are words that authors use often. Our poem, If We Said, has three of these words but we don't know which ones they are. Let's use clues to figure out the mystery words together. Our first mystery word has three letters in it. Do you see any words in our poem that have three letters? I see the word you has three letters. I also see the words when, but, the, can, fit, pen, had, for, day, eat, top, are, Sad and say have three letters. I wonder which of these is our mystery word. How about another clue? The first mystery word also has the vowel OU. Do you see any words that have three letters, two of which are OU? I see that the word you has three letters and two of those letters are the vowels O-U. You might be our first mystery word. Let's check our clues. Does the word you have three letters? One, two, three. Does it have the vowels O-U? It sure does, Y-O-U. U is our first mystery word. Now we can move on to our next mystery. This time we're going to look for a word that has four letters. Let's look at the words with four letters in our poem. 
we have what, said, were, head, play, wait, will, seat, then, and here. I think we need another clue. The mystery word that we are looking for also starts with the letter S. Do you see any words that have four letters and start with the letter S? I see the words said and seat. Looks like we need another clue. This mystery word also has the vowels AI in the middle. Which of the words we have left have AI in the middle? If you think our second mystery word is said, you might be right. Let's check our clues. Does the word said have four letters? One, two, three, four. Yes. Does said start with the letter S? Yes. Do you see the vowels A-I in the middle? Yes. Our second mystery word is said. Now we can move on to our last mystery word. This time, we're gonna search for another word that has four letters. Remember, we have what, said, head, were, play, wait, will, seat, then, and here. We need another clue. The mystery word that we're looking for also has two E's. Do you see any words that have four letters, two of which are E. If you think our last mystery word is were, you might be right. Let's check our clues. Does the word were have four letters? One, two, three, four. Yes. Does it have two E's? Yes. Were is the last mystery word. As I read the poem one last time, pay close attention to our mystery words, you, said, and were. What if I said you were going to win, but the prize can fit on the head of a pen? What if you said we were going to play, but we had to wait for a rainy day? What if I said we were going to eat, but the top of the table will be our seat? What if you said you were going to go? Then I would be sad to hear you say so. Closing reflection. How will practicing our mystery words help us with our reading and writing? Absolutely. Count how many times you see the words you, said, and were today. See you next time.